Okay, so for the fourth time, I literally, what I did do is I replaced my nanostats. This is an update of what's going on with the theater. Um, I replaced the nanostats with the uh, Definitive Technology 8040 BPs. So all the way around, that's what I put up. So that is the BenQ HC 1200. Um, three year warranty, sRGB uh, spectrum, and let me tell you something. If you want a great projector, it's not going to cost you a lot of shit ton of money. That's what you want. Trust me, that stuff is the bomb. Um, I mean, it's calibrated, so is my TV, but that right there is literally um, out of the box. You just hit if you just you don't want to calibrate, you don't know how to do it, you don't have the software and stuff to do it. That sucker right there, uh, you set it, cinema setting, it's perfect grayscale, out of the box. So it's phenomenal. Uh, broad daylight, it's still dark in here. Um, this is Minions coming on, and this is a uh, preview for uh, Life of Pets or Life of whatever the hell they are. This movie looks hilarious. So, um, for everybody who doesn't know, uh, Color high speed steel, hardwood floors, Velodynes, Deftex Super Towers. That's all my games and HD, HD DVDs. There's the Velodyne and the other still over there. Um, there you go. Uh, DVD rack over there. So, what center channel underneath? Um, so, basically, what uh, we have with these, and I will tell you is absolutely phenomenal when it comes to um, the, the envelope of sound it puts around your head. The sound stage is nuts. Nuts. I can tell you having everything done, calibrated and measured specifically to the, uh, to the room is, is insane. When I built the room, for everybody that doesn't know, I built the room, um, a kitchen, dining room, computer room, Around the other way is my old living room, which is my kids' playroom now. Uh, there's my cat, so if the if the he likes to jump up on top of here next to the Darby and screw with the cable. So if you see the thing lose signal, it's because he happened to jump up here, pain in the nuts. Um, this is the Blu-ray player, Darby Darblet. You guys trust me when I'm telling you, get one of those. Oh my God, you'll love it. Uh, cable box Xbox One. That's the uh, Emotiva. This is the Denon W6200. Phenomenal. Brand new. This has got it. DTSX. The whole nine yards. Um, I will tell you uh, that I. Can we kill the light real quick? Uh, I, now this is still that much light coming through the room. It's getting dark in here, just an FYI. So if I close this and really back stuff off, it just gets, just gets dark. Um, what I will say is uh, I still have the, the Atmos and I have front heights up over there on the other side of the screen. Um, in all honesty, I prefer, I prefer front, the front heights by a long shot. Um, it's just to me, the, the uh, it, it's pr it's pretty nuts when you have, you know, it, people happen to think that you know the the Atmos speakers in the ceiling. I mean, I have them. When I built a room. Uh, it took me about twelve, thirteen thousand to build this entire room. Three and a half weeks. Um, and what I did do, I have a buddy that helped me build it. Um, this is part of my backyard, so we built this. That's not including the, um, you know, all the gear plus the wiring, the HDMI's, the RCA's through the wall. Everything's through the walls. You know, there's really no wires anywhere. So um, that being said, it's uh, one of those 
things that you just have um, where having everything that the way you want it, you know, is great. And if you can have the, the ability to put ceiling speakers in, phenomenal. But I'm telling you, you don't need them. You can do an add-on front height up in the top corner of the wall and get the same effect. Actually, it's a better effect because it's a fuller effect. They're bigger speakers. You have a better, just an all-around better uh, uh, immersive experience for that stuff. So screw the ceiling. If you guys don't, don't have to do it, don't do it. Trust me. Do the, do the front heights instead. So um, the... The basics um, of, let's see, there, the basics of how things are and how things work, really, really, it, I will put this, um, honestly, I'll put the system up against just about anything when you have it for the room. What you don't want... If you're getting a flicker on the screen, it's not the projector. It's the phone with the ambient light getting sucked in from the other from, from the other side, and it just it's catching the lens wrong, and then it, it makes a flicker. Trust me, this the the screen is flawless. 1.3 gain, tab tension. Uh, I'm going to change because the exact same mounting system that I have will allow me to go from 100 to 120 like that, and and pick up instead of 80 percent of the wall, about 92 percent of that whole wall. So. That being said, uh, the room's 14 by 17. Um, you know, if I had to literally build this room uh, but, and have somebody pay to do it, this would have cost me about 30 grand to have everything done the way I wanted it done. Everything has individual power. Everything has, you know, everything's like it's being through the walls. You know, doing it yourself. If you guys can have the ability to do something yourself, do it yourself. Save yourself a lot of money and don't worry about it. But, you know, I mean... You know, ceiling fan. It's just it have the heating air air conditioning unit in wall. So it just having a temperature controlled unit for the whole for just the room, and just working the way it works is great. The fact of the matter that this is very it's it's br very bright light outside and it's still like phenomenally picture is just insane. I can't even tell you like the amount of depth in the screen. Um, from this projector. So, you know, again, HC, the BenQ HC 1200, there's a lot of, the, I've had a lot, I had a Mitsubishi, I had uh, an Acer, top of the line one from a few years back, I had the uh, 1075, the 1070, um, the 7000 Mitsubishi, actually. And trust me, you, that, um, this is just better all the way around. Plus, it's 3D. So if you want to watch it in 3D, you can. Um, so my TV's also 3D, so, you know, having it being passive active and everything, you know, it's just really, you know, kind of sets this experience. You know, when you have a system that blows away 98% of all movie theaters, you know, you got your front, front wides, your front highs, you got your, you know, your rear surrounds, and the immersion that this puts with these these death techs. Let me tell you something, it's insane. It really, the immersion around your head is so. It 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 really almost penetrates your brain. It's it's almost disorienting because of the sound. It just totally envelops you. Um, I'm gonna put some uh, acoustic treatment in that that edge from from that side of the speaker to the corner there. <laughs> And the same thing from this one to this one. I'm going to do that um, to pick up a little of the, ref the a little bit of the reflection from the the front wides hitting this way. Um, you know, what you don't, guys. One thing you got to realize too, and what you, what you should pay attention to, is the fact that acoustics in the room are huge and you know you don't want an anechoic chamber you don't want it dead you don't want a friggin live room where it's bouncing all over the place and it's echoey as hell you want that you want a really nice mix you want it to where you want reflections you don't want them to stop Just having reflections come into your brain it, it, it is what you hear you know mids and subs are always almost omnidirectional the, the highs are those directionals and that's what you want you want that to get to you you don't want to stop it you know, you want to you know, just just subdue some of it, but you don't want to stop it. 
that's that's a, the people have the wrong idea where it comes to that stuff. So because of what I did with the room, because you know the paint, everything's eggshell. You don't get any light bounce off the screen or the TV or anything. So that being said, I mean, it's very. Um, I, like I said, I will put this system sound wise against literally systems costing, you know, 20 times as much. And, uh, you know, if, if you guys are in the upstate New York area and you guys want to hear it and see it, I would love for you to, that would be great. You know, um, anything you want to do. I mean, if you guys just hit me up. Oh, by the way, those, um, the, the death tech super towers, I'm going to sell. So, if anybody is interested, the 706, I have 7,006 BPs, um, hit me up, send me a message. Uh, I'm going to change them. I'm going to change to the Studio Monitor 65s. Uh, I have a stand, so it's going to put the tweeter at the same height. Um, that was about 36 inches high. It'll put, a, put the tweeter at about 32. So, right at the bottom of the screen, it'll put it right at the very bottom of the screen. So, I'll lose three inches, but who, that, who cares? The, the stand has a slight angle back to it, so it's still going to hit you in the face. But ultimately, um, you know, if you guys are interested, and if he's interested, let me know. I'm going to pause this real quick, and I'm going to put on. Ah, uh, oh, it's a great and powerful one spot. Hang on. Okay. That was great and powerful. While I'm waiting, um, like I said, these phenomenal guys. The, the surrounds and the AVR I got um, at safeandsoundhq.com. Safeandsoundhq.com. Go there. I'll put a link in my description. Trust me when I tell you, they're great guys. They're insanely, they got so much. They have Aris high end legacy stuff. They've got everything monitor audio, Def Techs, Pulse, you name it. They, Boston Acoustics, they got everything. Uh, and great prices. Those guys are phenomenal. What you want to do is go see them if you can. Go on their site, check them out, tell them I sent you, you know, and we'll go that way. While we're, while we're waiting for this to get to the point that I want it to get at, so I don't have to fast forward it. I'm going to kill the light again. I'm going to take a fair quick zip through my house. So, kitchen. <laughs> and then we're going to my computer room. There's my setup. There's my kid watching uh, one of his shows. Uh, I built PCs too, high end gaming rigs, look at cool stuff. There's my 5.1 clips setup on my thing. There's, oh, there's my crazy cat. This used to be the living room. Now, this is my kid's playroom. Because the TV, your living room used to be mounted here. And uh, <laughs> this, I built this. And what's above it, see, this is a different type of gray. And uh, Merlot backing he used to have speakers. The speakers were still on the walls. All the, all the wires are still on the walls. Still, everything still comes through. When I, did, when I built everything, I had a reason to build everything that way. But, um, oop. Let me just back this up a little bit. Let me back this up just a teeny bit. Oop, too far. Hang on, we'll get to where we need to be. Oop. There, okay, so, um, long story short, what ended up happening was, the other video I put up, I had, uh, let's see, a specific Snizny type movie, maybe Slinding Bebo, let's just say that, um, and YouTube blocked it, blocked the video because it was copyrighted, not to say this might not be also, but just to give you an idea, I'll show this real quick, um, with the flowers popping and how crazy rich color that the projector actually produces, the color scales off the chart. It's crazy. Trust me, if you guys really, I mean, if you're really just, it's nuts. So if you get a chance, do yourselves a favor. Check, check this system out. It is really, really, I mean, if anything, you know, with the way everything works, um, 
you know, if somebody asked me, you know, what do you think percentage wise that you watch on, on the big screen versus the TV? Uh, it's probably 60 40, the TV to big screen, because my son, we watch everything on the TV versus, um, you know, and then we, you know, we'll watch these shows or a quick movie on the TV. It's 80, 80 inch, why not? But then what we'll do is we want to do, you know, spectacle movies or big, big, you know, action type stuff or some of his big time cartoon action, live action movies or any of that junk. We, we pop this in and I drop the screen and away it goes. So, but like I said, uh, great speaker. They're absolutely phenomenal. Do yourselves a favor and uh, go check it out. Safeandsoundhq.com. He's got projectors. He's got everything. But BenQ HC 1200, go look at it. He's there, a great. And like I said, to have this type of, even with the Ambulite bopping right now, and the, the, the blacks are black, grayscale is great. Everything looks phenomenal. So you want to... Do, do yourself a favor, guys, and go to that guy's website. Check him out. Like I said, I'll put a uh, link in the description. All right, gentlemen, ladies, I hope you like it. If you like it, share it. Hit thumbs up. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.